what is up guys ice361 here back with another video and in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how you can build this afk mob farm right behind me in minecraft bedrock and java edition 1.18 and above but if you are not already subscribed make sure to do so we are trying to hit 5,000 subscribers we're getting pretty close so if you could subscribe and you're not already make sure you are it's completely free. You can always change your mind in the future. Like this video, share this video with your friends so they can know how to build an AFK mob farm exactly like this. And without further ado, let's jump straight into this video. All right, guys, so the materials you are going to need for this farm is going to be a bunch of building blocks. It could be any block in the game. This mob farm actually works with wood. Normally, they don't. So you could use this much of any building block in the game. Then you want the same amount of slabs. It could be any type of slab. Then you want a stack of 64 and a stack of 18 trap doors it could be any trap door in the game you want four chests and four hoppers so that is all you are going to need for this farm for now you also obviously are going to need a water bucket and torches but i don't have those in my inventory yet but the only extras you will need is a water bucket and torches so the first thing you are going to want to do is break a 2x2 two two hole right here. Then you want to place a double chest there, hoppers on top of the chest, slabs on top of the hoppers. Then you want to place a temporary block there, a building block right above, and then surround your slabs just like this. But you don't want to keep the corners on this farm normally we keep the corners but for this one we don't now you want to build up 21 blocks so it makes your long pillars a total of 22 so you want to build up 21 blocks so the next step once you have built all of your pillars up 22 blocks in total it has to be 22 blocks in total you want to just build out seven blocks. Then you want to just make all of them come out seven blocks. The next thing you want to do is place a temporary block here, then place two blocks like that. And then you want to just build a two block wall surrounding everything do not fill in the corners again you do not want to put the corners the next step is on one of your corners just like this you want to go out seven slabs then you want to just connect on the other side and then you want to fill in this square and you want to do this with all four sides then your next step is you're going to want to just place slabs at the end of every uh tunnel right here these slabs will prevent water from turning into ice then you want to just place water i would make an infinite water source if you're in survival so your next step is placing trap doors along the edges of uh, your squares. You want to close them and make them on both ends of the wall. If you don't know what this is for, this is going to make the mobs think that it's a solid block. So they're going to try to walk over to the next square, but they're going to fall in water like that. Then get pushed down to the bottom where you guys can just afk farm xp from them all right so your next step from your corner you want to go diagonal two blocks and place a trap door then leave a two block gap place another trap door then leave a two block gap from that place another trap door and leave a two block gap from that so you want to have something like that and you want to do that for all four squares so you go two diagonal you leave a two block gap two block gap two block gap then you go here you leave 
two diagonal, two block gap, two block gap, two block gap. What this is going to do is it's going to make it so other mobs can spawn, such as baby zombies, stuff like that. Because normally in mob farms, you only typically get zombies, skeletons, and that's pretty much it. With these trap doors, you can get stuff like uh, spiders, you could get uh, baby zombies, uh, spider jockeys, you can get all different types of mobs because normally you're limited to like three in a normal mob farm. Now what you want to do is build a two tall wall, two blocks tall wall going, that sounds weird, two blocks tall wall, <laughs> but you want to build a wall two blocks high surrounding the entire area of this square. Now you want to add a roof of slabs. Make sure that it is two blocks high so mobs can still spawn under this. So your next step is to just light up the top of your farm. I would place torches literally everywhere even though you don't have to. But just to make sure I would. You cannot place torches on the slabs. The reason why we built the roof out of slabs is because you don't have to light it up and mobs cannot spawn on a top slab don't worry the floor that we built is a bottom slab not a top slab so mobs can still spawn on this one actually no i made a mistake it's mobs can spawn on top slabs not bottom slabs this is a top slab as you can see it's the top of the block we can place a torch on top of it but if we put a bottom slab you cannot place a torch on top so yeah, now your last step, which we should have did in the beginning, but I hope you guys are watching this video first before building it, uh, is you want to just torch up the bottom just so no mobs spawn on you while you're AFKing. So another thing that you can do for this farm is you can cover up the back just like this, you can cover it up like this so no items fly outside the back of the farm. You can place trap doors just like this so no items fly out here so they all go in the hoppers and you can still get the XP. When you're not using the farm, you can close the trap doors. Mobs will still spawn there, don't worry. And if you want to, you can also even make yourself protection so while you're AFKing, uh, no uh, phantoms can attack you. I would build it with slabs just for the aesthetics. You can, um, wow, I placed slabs in the wrong spot. You can make a little protection area just like this. So no phantoms can attack you while you are AFKing. So yeah, guys, that is the end of this video. If you've made it this far, make sure to subscribe. Leave a like rating down below. I would really appreciate it. Share this video with your friends so they can know how to build a mob farm like this. And I will see you all in another video. Peace.